In this video, we are going to refactor our guessing game program to use that valid.h file. And so I wanted to show you how to do this in an IDE that was installed on a computer. And I'm using a Mac and I'm using um, the Xcode IDE, but other IDEs would probably work similar. You might have to Google some details, but it should be pretty similar. So I'm going to create a new project and I'll call this the guessing um, game. And this is my um, program. So I'm just going to copy the guessing game code into my program. And so now I need to, um, well, let's go ahead and we can run this. So enter an integer one to 10, um, negative nine, whoops, invalid guess. How about 11, invalid guess, uh, three, that's too low. How about nine, too high, six? You're correct. So I added the functionality to keep track of the too high and too low, um, just to make my program a little bit more interesting. Okay, so now we're ready to add that other file. So I'm going to click on the folder and right click, and I'm gonna create a new file. And you can create um, a header file or you can, maybe your IDE will let you just um, create an empty file. Either would work. So I'm just going to choose an empty file and I'll call it valid.h. And you can see that the file will be put inside the same directory as my main. And I think most IDEs will require you to do that. So whatever folder your main program is in, you'll have to put that valid um, .h file in that same folder. And so I'm going to copy my valid.h code into there. And then over in main, let's make some changes. So we're going to include the valid.h file and I don't need this integer function anymore. Let's delete that down here. Okay, and so my um, guess, the get guess, it will call the get integer function that is in my valid.h. So it will call this function. Okay, so when I go back over here, um, you can see that the get integer was removed and now I'm ready to run this. Invalid guess, I'll guess five. Too high, how about one? Too low, three? Oh, too low, must be four. Okay, you were correct. Okay, so you can see I refactored my program. I didn't change any of the functionality. I just changed to how my code was organized, right? I'm putting all those generic input functions into a valid.h file, and then I'll create other functions to call those functions because I, I need an integer, but I need a specific integer. I need one from one to 10. So this function will validate for the proper range and it will call the get integer function to get a valid integer. And so this is going to make your coding um, a, lot a lot more robust and easier to find errors um, when you're writing these types of functions.